I don't know if I like this, splitting up the death ball. It's just, it, it's hard to say, really. The Colossi are designed for this map, but I, I still think these Phoenixes need to stay with these Colossi or else they're just going to get ripped to shreds. Because he chose Phoenixes over Stalkers, and because of that, and I, it's a good choice to make, you get more mobility, and these, this map is just so good for the clutter. Look at this. It's all cliffs. All of it. Just everywhere. They can just waltz around. And because of that, you do need the phoenixes, because uh, doing that much blank would be really unpleasant. However, we see something interesting happening over here in the Terran side of production. Terran infantry weapons level 3, Terran infantry armor level 3, Terran ship weapons level 1. Uh, all this going up against ground, uh, Protoss Air 1 and ground 2. Ooh, fun. We're looking at 2-2 two, two, uh, ground versus, or uh, yes, 2-2 two, two ground. Versus three three ground and one zero air versus one zero air. But right now I like uh, I like Chila's Viking advantage quite a bit. In the meantime, while back at his base where the fight isn't been enough. Oh, Vikings just getting a bunch of pot shots there. Ooh, the Phoenixes can't do anything about it because there's so many Marines. Pardon me. They're just gonna waltz in and kill the Vikings because that's the way this game works. Phoenixes kill Vikings. But Tilo had more of them. So in the meantime, I like this play by Tilo a lot. What was I saying? Squad based combat works really well for these. Um, yeah, just do a little bit of harassment. Meanwhile, <laughs> these Vikings more than paying for themselves. Plus the upgrade on them, not yet done. But if it were, oh boy. Now, in Tilo's position, let's see what he is. Let's, let's go to the Tilo game. This, by the way, is the eyes of pro gamer folks. This is how pro gamers see the game. Did, did you see it? Were you there? Holy crap. That is what we call owning. <laughs> I did not expect that. Colossi are awesome. I mean, just Tilo with so much more stuff. And then, bam, he just gets rolled. Ba-boom, as my cousin would say. That was crazy. But he does have the requisite production structures to produce three marauders and four marines at a time. However, these phoenixes can start coming in and start really picking these off. But Tilo's committed to going air. So, you know what I think would be a legitimate good transition right here? Make battle cruisers, Tilo. Do it. They're faster, you have the structures, and you've already invested in the upgrades. You go for armor, you get some marines. Battle cruisers. And think about it what are battle cruisers terrific against? Phoenixes. And then, uh, I don't know, these Marauder Army good against the Stalkers. You know what, Colossi can't hit? Battle Cruisers, so that's what. Uh, getting a late game Reaper in the vein of QXC, the guy I was talking about earlier. Um, QXC, his late game to get himself to the second round of the TSL was, and I kid you not, Reaper Nuke. That was his late game composition. Uh, a good a good proof for TLO here, if you just wanted to be lulzy, would be to drop three Vikings, put them in a dropship with a Reaper, and then just drop those. This is the three those are the three least necessary units to be dropped. Oh, TLO, I love you. You're, you're making nukes. Cause, oh no, you're just making ghosts. I'm sad. Uh, good transition here, getting Dark Shrine while a fight is going on that I'm not watching. Alright, are the Vikings going to be enough? They have no upgrade advantage, there aren't even upgrades. Oh my god! It's getting ripped to shreds by everything the Protoss has. Protoss is just going to stop here unless we see something crazy from TLO, which he is wont to do, but I don't know, just I think this... He always does end up killing the Colossi, but I just don't know if he has enough barracks because he only has three producing Marauders, and you need more Marauders than the Marines in this situation because of how quickly... Oh, I've never actually seen that Phoenix killing a building. However, again, and I'm sorry to say however, Maxime, I know you told me not to, but it's so easy, and it's great for contradicting yourself. At any rate, back over here we see that the Phoenix Stalker is surprisingly good. Uh, let's see, we can lift all the units, and then with the Phoenixes and the Stalkers can with a decent EMP there. Actually, a great EMP. I thought he was aiming for just everything. Uh, Tilo pulling all of his stuff. For some reason, uh, I guess he doesn't want to mine anymore and just wants to all in. All right, power to him. We're seeing Protoss ground weapons level three. What that? Uh, oh yes, these Dark Templar are good. You always want to have some sort of 
Uh, backup plan, escape plan's good. I like to keep a medevac full of marines, like, especially on this map, right here. And that way you can so easily counterattack them, just lift it up and go, bye-bye. So, Dark, uh, alright, tell me if you didn't predict this. Dark Templar Zealots, Stock or Phoenix versus SCV Ghost Viking Marauder. Okay, sounds like an epic mono battle to me. Is anyone else a huge fan of team mono battles? Is it just me, like, in the world? Because I love them. I just love them. Like, I just, I... I really want to enjoy mono battles, and I really want to watch mono battles. It was, a, it was my favorite daily, probably, except for maybe the uh, choose your own cast daily. Look at your zealots, now back to me, now back at your zealots, now back to me. Sadly, they're not me, but they could smell like me if they sat in front of their computer screen all day, staring at a webcam. If you look at the food differentials, it's pretty close, especially... It's, in fact, nearly identical if you factor in the uh, SCV difference. Now... I say in control is making somewhat of a mistake here in allowing Terran back in this game, but simultaneously, a uh, good turret placement there, uh, Terran is making somewhat of a mistake by not getting Vikings. He knows his opponent is going uh, Phoenixes, as well as Colossi. He needs that air control, and he could uh, triple reactor them. He has plenty of starports. One, two, three. I saw some more starports going down before. Four, five, six. So, uh, I... Oh, TLO. Oh, please get battle cruisers. Please get battle cruisers. Please prove me right. Uh, dropping on cannons is way easier than dropping on spine collars, especially if, the, uh, if you have the attention there to lift them up personally. I do that sometimes, but I have a bad habit of over-focusing on my harass and not just clicking on my base and stuff. So let's go back to the production tab and really hope that TLO makes <laughs> battle cruisers, because that would just be epic. First, we have Goody, then TLO making battle cruisers. Uh, classic. But TLO's big ball of units is actually looking pretty scary right now. However, Protoss does have both Zelnaga watchtowers, and this should make you nervous. How? Wait, is that just like a pit of lava randomly on the map? Let's see, is it over here too? It's gone. What the hell was that? The nuke drop and I just didn't see? Ah, oh, darn, he doesn't have nukes. Nukes are really fun to play with, and I'm actually starting to get some use for them in Diamond Level Ladder. Which really made me excited. <gasps> oh, TLO, you know what? A, you you know how to give a girl a good time. Nuke three battle cruiser. That is what I'm talking about, baby. And TLO is probably the best multitasker in the western side of the game right now. I mean, there's no one better. But at the same time, TLO GGs. You had a nuke and a three battle cruisers on the way. Why the hell do you GG there? At any rate. I'm Admiral Newkirk, and I guess we're just gonna watch this Colossus obliterate this nuke cell. Tier tier. Bye guys.